Kids are asleep. And it's your turn to talk. I'm good. Like everything sucks right now, you can talk about it. Yeah, yeah, I could do that if you want me to be miserable and resentful. Resentful of me? For trying to listen? No, of making me talk when clearly all I want to do is play my damn guitar. You can't keep everything bottled up. No, no, you can't, Amelia. That's how you process feelings. That's how you cope. And I'm okay with that, but I've been through everything sucks. Illness and isolation. When I had cancer, when, when my parents split, I was so depressed that I could, I could barely get out of bed for the better part of a year. And I was 11. Then I met a kid at cancer camp, Mauro Willis. Kid was probably sicker than I was, but he didn't want to talk about treatments or symptoms, just sports and Mario Kart. So I said to myself, what if I just focus on the good stuff? And I tried it. And it turns out that's what works for me. That's what I need. And if you're okay with that, great. But if you need a partner in misery, I'm not your guy. What's your plan? Just a little something I made up. It's called, uh, if the virus doesn't end us, then climate change probably will blues. Wasn't sure you'd answer. Please, the woman who all but ghosted you for a month does not get to judge. It's just, uh, my dad. We don't have to talk about it if you're not ready to or you know, if you don't want to. It makes me crazy because he, he seems like he's all charm, but he's got this temper that, well, if you're serious about not talking about it right now, then that can wait because the things I want to do with you tonight they can't. Oh, well, I'm going to need you to say more about that. All right, all right, hold on. Let me, uh, let me try to share my screen. Oh, my God. What? Are we going to watch porn? <laughs> no. Coming to America. Mm -hmm. oh, yes, please. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hey, Tom? Tom, it's me. I brought you soup, and I know that you're home. It's that really excellent soup from that little Polish place. Tom, I know, I know that I am the last person that you want to see. I just, I don't know, I thought maybe we could talk through the door. I just feel like you need some semblance of human contact. I don't blame you for for wanting to keep your distance. I mean, pandemic or not. I just want you to know that you're not alone. <laughs> 